we are. in XSplit, and I'm taking us right to the gameplay screen. She, her, um, and I'm happy to be back. I don't like that the world decided to give me allergies before the season, but thanks, world. I mean, I mean Waterdeep's a strange place. There's definitely allergies going around there, uh, so you know it's it's all good. Uh, we all in it. Um, next up, let's go to Brian. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am Brian. Uh, I play Virgil. Uh, my pronouns are he, they, Virgil's pronouns are he, him, and uh, yeah, Virgil does lightning and weather stuff, and has wings, and kind of weird eyes. Oh. Did somebody else stop me. Keep going. Oh, like somebody else. <laughs> Wait, so is it Virgil's fault that I have allergies, that That's my allergies are acting I know, up? he's, he's like it's, a meteorologist. It's, it's not Virgil's them. fault that you have allergies, but it is Virgil's fault that he's done nothing about the allergies. So, Bear. work that out. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh, Eugenio. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm Eugenio. I'm Dave Jesse Enns. Uh, I play Kent. Uh, both of our pronouns are he, him. Kent is our uh, tiefling rogue uh, archaeologist. I don't know how to do an intro anymore. Yeah. Apparently, these it's weeks were enough to just make me forget everything about talking to people in public. Um, yeah, he's our uh, tiefling, fabulously dressed, especially now with his glamoured armor. Uh, tiefling rogue archaeologist and now like the rest of us a masked lord of Waterdeep which I, I don't know how long it's been in this moment since our season 12 finale it doesn't matter Kent is still excited about it it could be two <laughs> days it could be two decades and Kent is still like I'm a masked lord y'all sweet uh, and Tanya hi of course I took a sip right before I was supposed to talk <laughs> mm -hmm. um I'm Tanya. I'm your paladin ranger with a dash of barbarian, Lisa Storio. Her pronouns are she, her. I have no idea what's going to happen. I just know it's Sharif, so 
we're going to have puzzles and I'll probably hate it, but it is what it is. Okay. That's, that, 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 that's why Masood was cursing, uh, you know, was uh, cursing the number. I'm sorry. J- j- just the number, not the season. Mm-hmm. Uh, cursing the number, not the season. Um, speaking of Masood, y'all, uh, we have some fantastic uh, people that we want to give a shout out to at the beginning of all of our shows that have helped us along the way. Um, so Masood, why don't you uh, give us those attributes? Thank you, thank you for throwing it to me. And just trying to do the ad ring king justice. So let me do my best. Uh, we'd like to give a special thanks to our sponsors that make our show and our game even more awesome. We use D&D Beyond for our digital character sheets and access to book content. Check them out on dndbeyond.com. We have a legendary bundle giveaway in chat, but you have to be here live to get it. So if you're listening to the podcast, be sure to tune in on Sundays to catch it and get a chance to get your hands on some exclusive content available on D&D Beyond. Our dice trays and vaults are provided by Wormwood. Use the code RIVALS for free domestic shipping at uh, their website, wormwoodgaming.com. Uh, you can also find a lot of great stuff if you're looking for a new gaming table, if you're looking for a new uh, dice tray. We know we love to show them off occasionally. Um, I got a sweet pen made of some cool wood that I bought at uh, PAX West, uh, uh, PAX Unplugged uh last year uh and i gave it to my wife because it was sourced from they choked um where the wood was sourced from and i wanted to pick a location that was near her hometown in south carolina because we live in chicago anyways they do a lot of great work it's quality product highly recommend it um if you're looking for some geeky gear or some cool uh swag check out stormcrow you can go to shop.stormcrow.com and use the code rivals for 15 percent off I don't have my mug this week. It's already out in the mail. Someone's got their hands on it. You too could get your chance at getting access to that. Um, and <clears throat> if you want to sound oh so silky smooth like the Rivals crew, check out Blue Microphones. You can use uh, the link crew.bluemic.com slash rivals to get uh, access to some great content and great material that we then get a little bonus from that we really appreciate it um also we're not partnered with idol champions by codenate entertainment we've got wonder uh, i think now there's uh one two three four uh, one two three four Five, of six, the seven eight nine ten uh, eleven four, twelve. Well, so many people there's so many rivals that are now in idol champions that you can check out and it's honestly incredible how they stack together with their interlocking abilities um you can also use a uh, type uh code for this week's free electrum chest and don't forget to unlock Shaka, Salise, Gazrik, Tahani in the game, as well as Disco. And I'm missing, I'm missing something. Yes. Fenris. And Fenris. And Fenris. Fenris. Thank you, thank you. And I know. Fenris. I was like, Fenris. And, and Fenris. Fenris. I was like, I got so familiars. many familiars too. Yeah. I re- I didn't know how game changing familiars were. It took me a while oh, to get to the point to unlock oh, familiars. And I was like, oh, this is oh, man. They were really tap, 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 tap. <laughs> Those early levels, so easy. Uh, and we also want to welcome uh, wa- uh, Warriors of Waterdeep. They've been great. Uh, you can type uh, ha- uh, exclamation point wow gems to get free gems in game every week with our link. If you want to learn more about Warriors, uh, type uh, exclamation point O S W O W to download and install Warriors on your mobile device. Um, and we have uh, a new sponsor to add. We got Voice Mod. We're really excited to have them as a sponsor for uh, Rivals. Uh, we appreciate all that they do. And I is there a link for more info i believe uh i believe there must be i'll find it out i'll put it in the chat oh look nightbot's got it nightbot's got it nightbot's my uh faithfully uh faithful familiar this week because i do ad reads uh (laughs) and i'm grateful for their support um but that's it for me i think i did a middling job and we can only (laughs) go up from here we'll let you we'll let you know (laughs) thank you no, no, cool. Yeah, I, 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 I thought you were gonna try something different with the blue, with the blue, but no, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, you gotta respect it's, tradition. We respect hey. it, you know. It's all good. We, we, we found it, and that's where we stay. Yeah, absolutely, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Tradition. I love that. <laughs> it, it makes it feel very, 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 very heavy and serious. So I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. right. Much like us. your good audio quality would be with a blue microphone. <laughs> oh, look at you. Heavy and serious. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in a microphone. <laughs> Heavy, <laughs> serious, and oh so silky smooth. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> yep. Man. Definitely a microphone that I'm That's looking for. That's my new character descriptor. Whatever character I'm describing, that's the way I'm describing them. <laughs> the man is made to sell. He is made to sell. Um, so uh, this is where we hand it over to our whoosh captain, uh, Latia Chakis. It's me. I hope your whooshing apparatuses are ready. Uh, mine are rusty from a month and a half off. 
contrary to popular belief, I do not whoosh off screen. But if <laughs> you whoosh off screen, <laughs> please whoosh responsibly. <laughs> All right. Previously on Rivals of Waterdeep. Whoosh. <laughs> Right there. Yeah. There yeah, they are. Was, I don't think that was rusty at all. There they go. Yeah, no. There we go. Okay. Oh, that, that was not rusty. You 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 oh. you back in it. You back in You're it. Right and, there. Yeah, thank, yeah. yeah, thank thank you for the chat for always whooshing with us too. That always makes, us, always makes us feel good. Um all right, so uh we just finished having our whoosh captain DM us through a wonderful uh season twelve. Oh, I thought you were gonna say DM us through a whoosh. I, was like, I mean, I didn't check my DMs. Are we? Oh, I there are instructions in there. Dang it! I mean, I mean, it technically is a DM one shot when, when like Latia does a woo check out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure. It's a, it's a, it's a definite Pass one, this shot. one, one shot, shot ever. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's talk about what happened last season, y'all, um, to get people up to speed. Not us, because we remember it. 100 yeah. percent yeah. uh, no we absolutely, absolutely. i mean yeah. every yeah. detail it's a quiz oh, yeah. for the uh -huh. for the audience yeah this is really fine. about what mm -hmm. we remember it's not about yeah. what we remember it's for yes. not making so, the answer key off of their answers or anything never, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah so so i mean what stuck out from people from the season i mean we don't have to go in chronological order or anything just like what what stuck out for your character what are some memorable uh things that uh happened to you or someone else uh last season uh I think Shaka can. I can start. There you Shaka, go. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I have one, one, but yeah. Oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's the most important. Oh, well, it's the, in that case, I, it's the most important thing that the rivals need to discuss is that Gosrick's no longer head chef uh, in the manor. That is the most important thing. Can you just let that go? Most important thing. Can you let it go? No. <laughs> Apparently, nobody likes cooking. Arc. Apparently, never. Not. They never liked it. Okay. It's not that they didn't like it. Everyone. There's always someone better. You know. Sure. sure that's sure, that's sure, a lesson sure. in life. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, there's always someone better. Mm -hmm. And Leaf. Exactly. Leaf from season God, four, maybe. Four. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. from a Serena season. Yeah. Was resurrected by yeah. Alatia and uh -huh. he hooking us up with that hot breakfast, y'all, with mm -hmm. them eggs, and uh, we do love it. It's good. Really? It is good. It Very is. Good. It is, in fact, better. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, just now, more than okay. ice spider stew, which is. Yeah. Just, okay. Sometimes you get used to a routine and you run well, with it for life. <laughs> now that we've talked about the, the now that we've uh, discussed the core story arc. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Most uh, oh, what what minor things outside of the core well, you story should, you should tell us about about shaka sure. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah so shaka was able to befriend one of the uh local residents mm -hmm. um oh god i feel really bad because i forgot her name um, <gasps> i know Billy. <laughs> Billy. No, 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 no. It it, it wasn't oh, Tilly. It was uh uh hold on. Tilly? I know this. Tilly was a one of the Tilly friends. Was the friend. Yeah, Tilly was yeah. the friend. Oh, I forgot her name. Maggie. 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 I knew it was an M. Just go Maggie. Yes. Yeah, so so like so like uh, Mag Maggie's like a elderly woman that has lived in the North Ward and seen all the changes, some good, some bad that the rivals have brought. Yeah. Um and she really helped us to rally the ward together right to like um you know to help see us as more than just adventurers that bought trouble into the ward right so she mm -hmm. helped us kind of rally folks to um, attend these town halls that we organized um to sort of like introduce um um kent and virgil right as a as, as the husband, the first husbands of the war to mm -hmm. uh, to like represent their concerns um, to the greater uh, powers of uh, Waterdeep. So like she was a key character with great cookies mm -hmm. um, who I absolutely yeah. thought had Shaka under some spell, but <laughs> that was never mentioned. Mm -hmm. So I think they were just regular cookies. When you they were just her, regular cookies. When, when, you, yeah. when Shaka sassed her a bit, I, I was afraid that she was going to like, you know, banish just just like a dimension door just opens up shaka. <laughs> um, <for> questions <laughs> um yeah yeah so like a, that that was one of shaka's big memories was uh befriending maggie and like just like having her sort of like rally for the rivals at the 
and like get us cl closer to the town folks and become yeah not just these rambunctious uh people rap scallions all of us yeah i really enjoy uh, that too yeah i liked um well, Dahani just had so much to do last season. She was just all over the place. So busy. You know, she's just here and there and everywhere. And um, I like that the kids wanted to go on piggyback rides with Dahani. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that we're working out, like, insurance protocols and things of that nature. Yeah. Uh, and everything's just, everything's going to be fine. Is insurance just Gothric? Is that... Like for the right, like right now, is it just like Gazrick's got spell slots? I mean, oh, Dahani's like also spells hilarious. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, healing we, we... spells, but Dahani's also got feather fall. So in the event uh -huh. that any yeah. child falls off her back, like they get, <laughs> yeah, they get the drop of the roller coaster while she has to like dive down and save them. And stuff oh, like that. So, oh. that that sounds Magic like a ride around. in itself. <laughs> ah! Oh no! <laughs> drop me! Drop me! <laughs> oh, no. Fun fact. Fun fact. I actually just thought about this. Yeah. Dahani can fly faster than anybody can fall. Like rules what like rules wise, Dahani yeah. can fly faster than anybody can fall. So I buy that. Incredible. That's awesome. I love yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any 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 other highlights from anybody? Any uh hmm. character I mean, moments? Uh, oh, you, yeah. No, no, well, I was just gonna say. So, you know, we had these discussions. We represented our, our, you know, concerns and ideas for the ward and for the city. And uh, I think, sort of, for the first time in a long time, I, I certainly don't. Well, Eugenio doesn't want to speak for Virgil. Kent absolutely would. Uh, but but like, I loved when you both did speak for me. Like Latia doing my voice was. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was a good time. That was really fun. I forgot about that at the end of the season. Um, but Kent has like, I don't know, Waterdeep feels like home all of a sudden because we're working on making things, you know, nicer and better and not just uh, leaving destruction in our adventure ass wakes. Mm -hmm. uh, and, well, we're trying, right? We're trying, yeah. we're trying. Love it. Um, and, yeah, then, and then at the end of the season, like to reinforce that feeling of this is in fact home, uh, we all we all got a bunch of cool masks. Let's say at the end of the season. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that was that was that was a thing. Yeah, I I liked um, the idea of standing of standing Kent and Virgil up as like the first husbands of the ward. But I mostly mm -hmm. like the fact that I don't know, like in in a, in a D and D game, like the adventurers stopped and said, "Wait a second, what about where we live? Like, yeah. what, what's going on?" in our actual home that occasionally yeah. disappears or goes to hell or comes back or <laughs> isn't there or whatever. Um, and that was, that was the coolest thing is that, you know, I mean, it, yeah, it was, it was like, you know, how do we fight gentrification and how do we figure out city planning in D and D, which I'm sure right. for some people is probably boring as heck, but that was cool. That <laughs> we was, that made was really it awesome. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we, we did. did. Yes. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and and, yeah. and Celise was a doppelganger, but that's that's neither here. I was waiting for. I was giving that. I didn't feel I figured, like it was my business to share. No, yeah. I didn't want to. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's. Because uh, yeah, we I, we figured I, I figured Tony was gonna get to that part. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Trouble. I was, but there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I I just. Ugh. It was so good. It was, good. It was it my was favorite. Good. It was my favorite part of the season. Tanya, tell us all about it. Yeah. Nope. I was a doppelganger. <laughs> that was it. All right. Well, that is definitely one way to interpret it and the right way for some. I was thrown because now I questioned everything though, because we came up with these great ideas about reinvesting in the city and doing all this great stuff, but that was doppel Solis instead of real Solis. And like, I don't know, I it, it, like Gazrick had this whole idea about investing in, we all had this money, right? Like we all uh, <laughs> struck right. it rich, uh, like uh, the Beverly Hillbillies and decided to like pack it up and Except moving away, we reinvested <laughs> in our local economy and we're thinking about doing something there. Um, so like, yeah, I was selling these, uh, working with the local tradesmen, craftsmen, started selling, um, what is it? Dragon scale, like crafting components uh, to the local oh, folks. Yeah. And like yeah. working with like the Temple of Gond um, to like establish any new and upcoming developments and I'm excited to see 
what is happening with that when we hop back in, but I'm also just we're really like and now we're mass lords like this is a very interesting shift in our roles and i and i'm excited to see how it plays out cool yeah 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 um yeah that, that was like another thing with shock is there was definitely some tension because he mm -hmm. didn't realize and like he's been the one like him and salise have been here for the longest out of this current group so him right. not realizing that salise was a doppelganger for two seasons i believe was that, right it, it was like yeah. after we got back from um from uh no no it wasn't which light from from uh from icewind dale i believe uh from uh -huh. from, from, from uh, the season. caldera from the caldera. yeah yeah exactly the caldera, from the caldera. Right. yeah so yeah so so like you know shock has definitely been doing some reflecting on like and like why didn't i like why wasn't i able to notice that you know mm. so it's definitely Def definitely been weighing on him for sure um all right y'all now that we got that all out of the way uh yes we did end with um the rivals each getting i will say the choice to become a mass lord because it's really up to you right what you do with it right I'm um, good. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Can you imagine after I cried last season, like yeah. I'm gonna turn that down. <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah. So uh, just j j just so the audience, uh, just to catch everybody up. So the way that the mass lords work are they're basically like a council of leaders within the city of a water deep, but there's only one that is publicly known that is La Laurel Silverhand, who's like the open lord of Waterdeep. Um, everyone else in the council is unknown to the general populace. Um, of course, if you wanted to make yourself known, you could, but, but, but the idea is that you are unknown. Um, so that like people supposedly are not biased and not corruptible. That's the idea, but you know, it's water deep. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, so, um, I will say we're going to start the season. Uh, okay. yeah. Uh, so. Uh, it is a year since that day where we all saw robes in your uh, in your uh, in your rooms. Um, and what we're basically going to do is we're going to go around to each person and we're going to talk about number one, if you accepted that uh, that uh, that role or not, um, and whether you did or not what you've been doing in the past year um i expect a full day by day uh, <laughs> you know, uh so for each person my we're gonna notepad. cover three, where's my three, diary what is like 300 well i, I actually yeah war deep beer is probably not 365 days but fine whatever yeah <laughs> you guys know <laughs> what i mean I'm, I'm i'm still team gregory don't you do it's the math. don't no don't okay because <laughs> no, 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 no. the week the weeks are 10 days right yeah it's, it's 364 oh, days again. of shield yeah. meet happens every four years but it's fine Go, got it <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to play with other DMs. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, the answer. It really is. that's why it's fantastic. It's um, um, yeah. So, so um, now you you only have to really mention maybe one significant thing that that like happened to you, or maybe one thing that you wished would have happened that didn't. Um, you know, um, over over on the year, and it could be something that either you did and kept private to yourself. Or it could be something that um, you did and that others in the group would know about. Um, so um, I think I'll ask for a volunteer who would like to go first. All if right, not, all right, all right. If not, so, come on, I, come on. I, I, I all was right, going right. to roll, but. Uh, no, no, yeah. we got it. We got it. We got it. So uh, the first quarter of this year, I think, was just spent sort of being uh by kent anyway spent being excited about being a mass lord about feeling at home about getting to know the folks in the neighborhood or the ward um but over the course of the year as waterdeep began to feel like or i should say as kent allowed himself to realize that waterdeep really is kind of a home now like for reals uh i started getting really interested in the history of the city and what lies beneath and what it, you know, what was here before. Uh, I think the curiosity sort of started from a couple of times just being bored and curious and following the wormling around uh, in, in their tunnels underneath 
the underneath troll skull. Um, and as I sort of uh, found evidence of other, you know, of, of other buildings that used to be there, of, of other things underneath the city, that sort of took me to back to my archaeologist uh, researcher days. Um, and Kent has spent a lot of time uh, researching the history of the city, found some interesting things about the history of dragons in the city. Uh, and there was one other particular underground feature uh, that definitely caught Kent's attention. And funny enough, in his own way, I think Virgil also has an interest in this thing. So this feels like a fun segue pass. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I mean, Virgil, um, upon hearing, initially uh, upon finding the mask and the robe, uh, Virgil was questioning it. But then upon hearing the outpouring and screaming and kind of cheering, there's some jumping up and down, I think. Um, <laughs> Virgil went ahead and said, okay, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> um, and yeah, in the in the past year, Virgil has been uh, connecting with the Watchful Order. Um, I think, wait, the, the full name is the Watchful Order of Magists and Protectors. Uh, he's been kind of connecting with them. And um, just as, just trying to essentially kind of create a, a good social network of high-powered magic users in the city. Um, after the after the doppelganger that we interrogated said there are many plans for the rivals and they've come at us in multiple ways, just to try and be like, there needs to be kind of a line of people that can be trusted who also are able to, you know, if it, if it happens, perform some high-powered magic. And, and because of many nights spent in the Yawning Portal Inn and Kent's study underneath Waterdeep, uh, Virgil's been interested in Undermountain, and he's been interested in the magical protections that are that are in the Undermountain, and he's really kind of been floating, um, floating the idea like, well, what if we were able to, on emergency notice, apply some of those to Waterdeep, perhaps the inability to detect magic or the inability to teleport in and out in the wards for safety. So that's where he's kind of been. Uh, he's kind of been doing that, and he's been leaning leaning heavily on Kent's archaeological knowledge, um, and yeah, just kind of studying the Undermountain and magic, and getting to, to be, know folks in the city. <laughs> and to be clear, that all sounds super great and safe and productive to Kent, but also like it's a it's a big underground dungeon that I can explore one day, hopefully, uh, <laughs> while Virgil does magic research, and I can I can dig old stuff up, and that'll be fun. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Awesome. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Now, uh, one question for, uh, I, I guess, for both of you, since you both uh, answered this one. Um, have you been, so as a mass lore, there are some uh, meetings. Um, have you been attending to those duties as well? Like, have you been actually, or like, has like it been more about using that, um, that idol and that influence to, you know, to proceed on the archaeological path um for me i think i have i think kent has all has attended since since the offer was extended uh has attended any meetings that have happened but only sort of recently maybe in the last few months uh has he really started to like engage at those meetings and part of that is because uh, the research that virgil and i have been doing has sort of gotten to a point where maybe we need some like uh patronage support type thing for some of the things we're getting into and so getting uh we have the rivals as a group we have already interacted with both Laryl Silverhand who you mentioned as the the open lord but also as uh, with Vajra Safar the black staff the sort of head mage of the city um and so going to those meetings and attending and participating felt like a good way to uh, get another in with Laryl to hopefully have some meetings with her to talk about Virgil's ideas about, you know, moving under mountain protections up to the city as a whole. Um, and of course, Vajra as well, uh, though she doesn't, I don't believe she sits on the Council of Lords, uh, but she is no. super powerful uh, and a useful person to sort of have yeah. on board with our research. Yeah. Virgil, Virgil would have gone to some of the meetings and honestly, if they weren't that interesting, um, yeah, he, he may have honestly wandered out saying, like, this meeting could have been ascending. <laughs> he could have been ascending. You, 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 you just be like nodding off in the back and then let him out. <laughs> 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 
You know, I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna wear the uh, shades that have eyes painted <laughs> no, on them. Yeah, <laughs> it's taken. It has taken. It's taken Virgil some time to to actually kind of lean into, like embracing, um, all of the bureaucracy. But he's in now. It's just yeah, it's taken a minute. Yeah, cause cause like I will say, um, unless y'all did something to attempt to change it, and this goes for like everyone that chooses to engage in this, uh, these meetings are what you think of as very bureaucratic meetings talking about taxes and tariffs and uh you know like that kind of stuff so they're not they're very like you know they're they're not really uh if you ever been to like a if 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 you're part of any organization whether it's a church or fraternity or you know stuff like that that uses like robert's rules or that kind of thing Mm. just like imagine like those kind of meetings Mm -hmm. like very like you know ceremonial and yeah, yeah, second the motion exactly. yeah exactly yeah. yeah so uh even more confusing because we don't use names with the masks on so you have to refer to each other by i guess what your mask looks like yeah, that's yeah. weird yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's, it's it's all kind of stuff um cool all right great start y'all good good stuff i am definitely taking notes good stuff <laughs> um, all right who who wants to go next I will. Oh, that was that was a very <laughs> mysterious. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Um, so Dahani did also accept her fancy clothes from the uh, the mysteriously placed clothes in her room, and she immediately put them on because uh, she was taller. Um, like <laughs> a mass a mass lord is like two Dahani stacked on top, so she was just like, "This is what it feels like to be tall." <laughs> Um, and then she put them somewhere for safekeeping. She has, she's attended a few of these meetings, but she is absolutely not into bureaucracy and taxes and tariffs. And, um, she feels that the work that she could do for the people of the North Ward is best done without her, without her mask on. Um, so the last year has been doing that like going out and um she's had more talks with um the castle lanterns and probably has seen them begin to make improvements in their own ward uh because maybe they're like oh you guys are that's an actual good idea maybe we should and then also helping us because um he was very very strongly persuaded to do so Mm. Um, but she actually has been spending a lot of time with the kids of the North Ward. Like nice. they asked for for piggyback rides and flights and she was all about it. So um she's probably got like she's probably got like this mother duck group of kids who follow her around whenever she goes out. Um and it's very Goonies esque. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh man. She's the leader of these kids who like enjoy getting into <laughs> trouble, but also she's the equivalent of a mid thirties bird woman. So she's mostly just keeping them out of danger while they mm-hmm. do whatever they do. And then, you know, Thank dropping you them from, like, dropping them from extremely tall heights in the sky and feather falling them when they get closer to the ground so that they could be like, we far, wow. far away from the manor so that, um, she we is not. We, we definitely don't tell any parents about that part. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I was about to say, are you like, if you're so, like, you have to find sort of like a secluded kind of place, like, a uh, just. Like a, yeah, we go like. <laughs> dark out. We, <laughs> we, we probably just go right outside the city. I literally, <laughs> like, I thought for a moment, it's like a, a peasant woman on the street looks up and sees their child fall. <laughs> My baby! <laughs> <laughs> just like. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. And she, she, like, she's just as familiar with the parents as she is with the kids because yeah. okay. obviously gotcha. these kids, like, the kids, they go run off and play, but it's like, I want these parents to know that I'm keeping their kids safe. Absolutely. Okay. So, so then you're, you're really like sort of taking that role of, you know, in the continuation from last season, kind of like um, associating with the families and letting them know that we're more than, like I said, just these rambunctious people that we actually. Mm-hmm. I, I... Mm-hmm. Except when they're not looking, we are. Uh, she is absolutely that that rambunctious person. Yeah. Oh, of, well, of course. 
if only they knew mm -hmm. about what you did at, um, <laughs> at uh, Rebel's End. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not going to talk about that. They don't need to know that Tahani was in jail once. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they need to know that. It's irrelevant uh, to Tahani's dynamite daycare. You know what I mean? It's completely unrelated. Oh, is that the name of it? I I've just floated just, it out okay. there. Just try that, it. I, I, we've I, also <laughs> invented dynamite during this year. Because that's and a daycares. concern. And, yeah, and daycare. And daycare. Oh, <laughs> Gazrick has floated that like, every time he says it, Dahani is like, mm, I don't think so. Something else, maybe keep workshopping it. It's alliterative, so therefore it's good. We know. Did you not, mean, did you not mean dynamic? Well, dynamic could work. I don't know. I had a dream in it, and in the middle of it, I woke up going dynamite. So I felt that could be fun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is that why your hat is different? You're wearing a different hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just this for today. <laughs> Great. Huh? All right, love it, love it, love it. Now, yeah. um, I know you said that Dahani had been to a few meetings. Uh, tell me how she was at these meetings. Was she sort of like um, like uh, Virgil, like kind of like leaving when it got too heady, or uh, how 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 was your? I'm reaction? pretty sure her first meeting was asking about all the technical terms. Like I imagine it's this thing where they're all sitting around a table or something in their funky masked robes, and then like every so often you have one masked lord who's leaning over to another masked lord who she who may or may not be one of her comrades was right. like, what is, uh, what, what are they talking about? <laughs> oh yeah. This, this is like acronym city y'all. This is like, oh, everything, no. is, everything, these meetings, it, I hate it. <laughs> everything is a three letter acronym. Everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And, uh, yeah. So either you don't say anything and try to figure out later, or if you're like Dahani, you ask right on the spot, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you know, you know, yeah. What's 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 an RFP? So, you know, so, yeah. Don't you dare! I forgot to ask if anyone knows how many mass lords are there usually. Is is it a fixed number or not? Well, uh, there there is a number that is recommended, sort of in the books. But um, I actually, oh, I actually meant to ask uh, somebody of uh, 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 about this off uh, screen. But you know what? We can do it here, actually. So it's um, it's, it's so, kind of amorphous because yeah, nobody okay. knows who, like yeah. nobody know. Like the, the yeah. point of the mass lords is that nobody is supposed to know who they are. Right. Okay. Yeah, I I will say it's greater than ten, but less than twenty, right? But uh, given the acts of, um, you know, in in like a bit of a bit of a co DMing here. Mm -hmm. um, so in the suit season. Um, we had, um, you know, like, uh, some, s s like, uh, s some of these, like a uh, newer families. Yeah. Um, and we had some uh, people that were, uh, taken out as well. And in, in, um, Latia's season, was it Tia's season, I believe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, 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 we like had the old cast, old cast lanterns get destroyed. Right. Right. So like, how many, some. To some my, of them definitely got ganked. Yeah. Like <laughs> how 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 many mass lords would y'all say would would have been taken out in those? Well, uh, and in, then yeah, and then his historically, like canonically, yeah, there have been something like a dozen mass lords that have been killed over yeah. the course that's, of the last couple of years. That's oh, yeah. where I set our season at. Was like sort of yeah. after that, and I in my head set the number at five. Because wow. it was all about like moving, like that way it was easy. If uh, this one person, Omen, just needed to influence two other people to have majority. Okay. And so, that, so we're so, really but, repopulating the council. So, it, and wow. also it's been some time since then. So it could be something where there are like, we are might not have been the only people approached. Yeah. Like there might have, right? Yep. Like you're saying, there could be a, mm -hmm. it started at five. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, I, so, so yeah, I, I think that, it, that that's a good way to, to like, to like I say it. And then season 10, they're around five. Now there's between t 10 and 20, including y'all. Okay. Right. Cool. Sound good? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, sweet. All right. Who wants to go next? Either uh, Masood or Tanya? I can go next, uh, unless Tanya, you want to hop in? Cool. I'll, I'll jump in. Um, I think here's what Gazric does Gazric. No. Um, has his time to set up his actual own um, 
investment firm. It's his storefront <laughs> where literally people come in and pitch ideas about new sort of uh, products and businesses. And he's there working with like all, uh, was, who was it? Oh God. Uh, Kin? This is Shark Tank. Uh, this is Shark yeah, Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kin, but Kin from last season's on board, like having Rafsley, like his business also improved due to the um, rivals, like influence, as well as some of the other uh, craftsmen on board from the Temple of Khan. Um, and every time someone comes in there and they pitch him something, Gazrik tells them, Now, I am a man of the people. All right. They, they asked me to be a mass lord, and I turned it down. I said, No, thank you. Gossip's totally still a mass lord. He totally said yes, but he's running this entire gambit. What? It's the opposite of Mert. Mert telling everyone he's an open lord. He's like, no, 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 no. I, they asked me. I didn't want it. I did not want it. It was not for me. Um, really wanted to be here for the people. And now he uses that information to also push policy in the actual mass lord place of like leaking information that like his other like opponents don't want the public to know yet. It's like they're raising tariffs in the South Ward by like two and a half percent. You really got to see what's going on. I I, I heard it's from a tradesman. It's really what <laughs> and, wow. and like kind of running this gambit um, as sort of to situate himself one as a man of the a dwarf of the people um, and uh, sort of, rock gnome. Sorry, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah rock gnome. Sorry, really got to me in a quick moment. I was like, that's not correct. Thank you, Eugenio, for catching it as well. I, the, my, I made the face because I was like, my God, if I thought he was the wrong race this whole no, time. No, 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 no. <laughs> my, my mind's uh, doing a lot and I mistook the the race correctly. Uh, but he is a rock gnome and um, is, yeah, I think um, working with the Temple of Gon still and like any other of these projects that's coming through, um, I think uh, Zephyr, if he's got any, um, like, uh, had been more building a relationship with any aspiring apprentices, any folks who've got, like, up-and-coming development that just need a little bit more time in an incubator, someone to believe in them, um, to using that to then also, I think, um, still keep the front of the rivals being the like having the first husband still of the North Ward. Like we like not only are we still mass lords, but our day job is still this thing. We still have to present as these individuals. Um and sort of trying to manage that. Um more uh, like a 60% Batman, 40% Alfred um is kind of the energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um where is this firm something that is mm -hmm known to the rest of the rivals like do they well yeah. one do, do they know about the firm two do, do they know about you publicly denounce like publicly denouncing the lordship i i think gazrik has to tell them they have they have to know okay. that in the business is part of the pitch like there's no way that this sort of thing is like so by it's like no no, no it's totally a bit okay it works out in the in my defense because no one first off Laryl hates me. We know this. So we, we know the idea, the logic, it's already faulty at best. So people don't even think I'll probably get asked in the first place. He said, oh, you know, Shaka got asked to be a mass lord. Like, oh, maybe. No, Gazrik, get out of here, right? So it ingratiates me a little bit more in this sort of position. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. um, and also, is this firm, are you running this out the manor or do you have like a building? Like, a, like I think own? it's an extension on the manor. It's uh, like really like sort of uh, even maybe not even an extension, just like on the plot, like, like near buy up something that was near something yeah, yeah, that was yeah, abandoned yeah. near the manor. Exactly. That okay. someone had like truly left and yeah. Wow. I love, that. <laughs> I love this. Always the wild card. Yeah. Like, we can do nothing but make big moves now. That's the problem. After last season, the only yeah. moves we can make yeah. are big. <laughs> yeah, this is... We're level 18 now. I just found out I can cast spells in animal shape. This is going to get very fun. Oh, yeah. no. Ultimately, we should be glad that all he did was start an investment firm. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> Don't give me any ideas. I know. Um, 
uh oh wow all right wow so so yeah that that is something so like you are lord and how's gosrick been at these well first has gosrick gone to any meetings yeah gosrick attends every single meeting he doesn't miss a single okay. meeting uh, okay yeah absolutely. Oh, 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 oh oh yeah because because like uh, you got to get the info to leave yeah uh, well, and i think it's like he takes the job very seriously like being in this position like at, like what he does like it really is like a uh bruce wayne like persona of like uh like kind of been boisterous kind of this but actually it's business like we're talking about important things like it's a city that's on the line um pays attention tries to take as many detailed notes as he can um okay. yeah and how would you say it's been a year yeah would you say this is a new firm did you start it sort of recently after i think last it would... season? and like how's it doing would you say i think it was two months into being a lord and realizing that they're like kind of the way Tahani sort of having this like realization that there's other good that could be done outside of this. I think that was the moment where it's like, well, we've been doing this thing with these local folks. And I still think there's a lot of good that can be done in public from a public persona, whether or not that puts a target on our back, nothing new. Right. Um, and yeah, I think sort of, uh, I think two months in, reached out to Ken about it, so sort of being an advisor on the board with him. Um, has Brian also on there to analyze uh, the efficiency of everything and Zafir. So it's the, those are the four people uh, who make up the actual uh, investment firm. Was it name oh, forthcoming? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about so it. Like Brian I, yeah. the Brain, you mean? Brian, Brian the Brain, absolutely. Brian, Brian, Brian the Brain yeah, is there Brian analyzing the your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right. And uh, okay. and duo of course, of course, uh, assists. Oh, yeah. Uh, how how so? Executive assistant duo. Okay. All right. I I will need a name soon. Or yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's turning into way more than I thought you were originally <laughs> saying. Uh, wow. All right. Sweet. Okay. Uh, Tanya, what has Celise been up to? Um, Mostly Ask just you. staying to herself since she uh, still didn't get it. She can't believe that nobody realized she wasn't the doppelganger. So uh, she was a doppelganger. She's been actually spending more time with the Mass Lords and spending more nights away from the mansion and kind of doing her own thing. Okay. It's away from the mansion. All right. So then she did choose to become a Lord as well? Yep. Okay. Right. And... Uh, since you've been sort of away, have you been, uh, attending any of the meetings? Any of the Celeste meetings? goes, but she stays to herself, makes her notes and then leaves. Okay. All right. Cool. I, I, I kind of like that, like mystery. So, so then the other rivals say, haven't seen you, would you say half the time? three quarters of a time, like, like a significant amount of time that like, they kind of don't know your whereabouts. Sure. Like 60%. Oh. Okay, good. All right. Oh, I, 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 I like that uh, air of mystery about that. That's pretty cool. Um, and we we did really do sleep dirty by not recognizing that double or anything. So right. I totally get it. I love it. Can I ask um, a follow up question based on like is this? Did we not? Do we think in this past year we didn't follow up on finding that like where we went in the season finale? Right? Like, do you think that was the end of yeah. our like doppelganger hunt? Are we as a group still like concerned about them as an entity, or did we get caught up with the mass lore? I'm like, I I, I think this might I... be yeah. I assumed that Gosrick would continue the research that he was doing about doppelganger yeah. detection because we did yeah. learn, you know, we had a very vague, like, whatever's going on, it's implied that they're not done. Not, they, they said plans for their rivals. They didn't say plans for Waterdeep. So whatever's going on, whoever it is, is not done with us. So I assumed that that research at the very least continued along its path. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that might hey. be, yeah. That's a good question for the first role uh, of the season. Uh, <laughs> what? No. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, uh, great. What oh, yeah. a transition. Uh, uh, thank you. Hey. Thank you. Uh, you Instantly have to fight, goosebumps. Nervous. You have to fight 50 doppelgangers. Uh, <laughs> 
No, uh, why doesn't uh, everyone roll a percentile uh, for me? These always make me nervous. Mm -hmm. I always like them. Of course you do. <laughs> Just, oh. 56! Well, oh, God, that was loud. I forgot that these dice are loud. <laughs> it's 89. 89. 89. And uh, would you get, uh, Tanya? 85. 85. Okay. Well, I got Nine. a 17. For the podcast. I, I got a 58. Okay, so 58, and you got a 79, uh, you, 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 right? No, I, I would love a 79. I got a 17. Oh, 17. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, who did I miss? Uh, Virgil. Yeah. 89. 88. Oh, oh you, you got the 89. That's you took care of me. It's fine. <laughs> All right, 89 and almost. 12, that's 101. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All them added go. up together. Yeah, that, that's that's right. We're, we're, we're we took it. Right. That's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. And I'm going to roll for uh, the Shaka here. Oh, yeah. Do we get oh. to know what Shaka's been up to? Yeah. You will very soon. I have a feeling. <laughs> I thought that might help the segue. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Shaka got a 51. Um, okay. So um, this is basically. Um, because I got from a sense of Masood's question and the way that people responded that this isn't something that you would let up, that like you would pursue in some way, either by so. trying to use your influence as the lawyers to see if there was anything there, or like, um, I know that like G Gosrick was doing some scientific experiments, like he had like brought back some, right? So there's some way, and I'll let you choose sort of like which, which way that each of you did um but i'd say that uh you know these percentages i'll say that you were moderately successful mm -hmm. at whatever you did um so so like so you're not super super successful because unfortunately that 17 does drag you down <laughs> quite a bit i um, i go off i send this off on a tangent i i get i can't oh my brain's not working quick enough today to come up with some clever witticism but i somehow have distracted us that's into, exactly like, what pursuing... it was honestly that was that was what it was like we were all we were all hanging on and and while kent was coming up with what to say we kind of like missed a moment of the moon phase to like do the thing and it was right, like right, right, right. it's good it's fine no it's fine it's okay it's no, no no it's okay it's okay, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so 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 yeah we don't have to talk about it now unless you have some ideas as to how you um have been trying um, oh but that's something that we could definitely cover in other episodes if need be i think uh i definitely can say that uh Gajic figured out moonbeam as a spell <laughs> is like like is an ability that like can uh <laughs> detect creatures like that and i mm -hmm. think has installed at least within the manor um a series of working with like the artif artificers from like temple of Gron, like to make almost like moonbeam floodlights. So like if the if we were in, in a moment in our like get hit in our home, like could like flip a switch and just like just be safe. Security safe. lights? Yes, yeah, security, yeah, security <laughs> moonbeam headlights. Yeah. Okay. That. Okay. okay. Are are these like visible are they like infrared like invisible things or like actual floodlights that like <laughs> I think with kin they are uh fixtures that are like kind of in place that uh, just like kind of switch. They, the regular lights, and then they'll switch into um, a, emitting a different light source. Yeah. And like, do they like show you who's a doppelganger or do they like harm? The... They force, the doppelganger has to make a, it's, I'm gonna just do the oh, idea I see, I see, of like, moonbeam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they have to do like a saving throw? And, yeah, you know. they'll do a saving throw. Otherwise, uh, if, and I believe they have disadvantage um, on it, but. Um, okay. A shape changer makes a saving throw with disadvantage and it fails instantly reverts to its original form. Um, it okay. can't assume a different form until it leaves the spell's light. Okay, love it. Yeah, so and like, and because the moonbeams, I assume, would be everywhere pretty much on that main area. They mm -hmm. wouldn't... Yeah, okay, good. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, yeah, i say that counts as a moderate, like, success. Like, you Just, gotten... like our yeah, home is safe. Like, our... Yeah, our, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. And now we can have moon-themed parties in the manor, so we can charge extra for that, you know? Yeah, 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 and, 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 and that does mean that... Um, mm -hmm uh the if you choose to continue to have these town halls um you know that the people will feel a lot safer because they have 
you know, rumors have been about. Mm -hmm. uh, and they all did see two Salises uh, during the last uh, t town hall, right? So, um, you know, so there's definitely some buzz about, um, again, what's going on. So, I, so, I, so that's a way that you can use to help help them uh, feel uh, better about y'all being able to protect the folks. Um, okay, so now let's get to Shaka. Um, no one has seen Shaka in a year. What? What? Whoa. What? Am I uh, muted? No. What? What? <laughs> no. Excuse okay. me? Fascinating. Uh, Fascinating. So his robes are gone. <clears throat> you have seen people at the meeting, but you know, like people are glamored and people are, yeah, you know, yeah. you know, they have their voices changed. Is his bucket hat gone? <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> I actually did not think about that. Um, I'll say yes. What he normally wears is gone. So like um, his, uh, his, his, his robe. Oh, so he's gone, yeah. gone. <laughs> he, okay. Well, what, what I'm saying, he, he hasn't moved out. Like his stuff okay. is still okay. Okay. There. But nobody, um, we have not seen him. Yeah, we've not seen him. And and like if you've gone and checked, like things are moved around. Like it seems like okay, it's been the, at least someone or something has been coming back and arranging things. Um, but yeah, you haven't. No one here has seen him um, in a year. Did he say he was going somewhere, or did he? Or did we just wake up and he was gone? Let's actually do some role play of the last time you did uh, <laughs> what? see here? him. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. Actually, oh, I don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're gonna we just get to decide to say absurd things that our characters did last year. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So this is gonna be, say, a couple weeks um, after uh, after last episode. So like after we found out that uh, we're mass lords, um, and we are all uh, in the kitchen of the manor. Um, Sorry, sorry, Gazric, but Leaf is cooking. <laughs> um, uh, he's cooking a phenomenal Gaz spread. At this point, Gazric doesn't even comment on it more. He just frowns. It's it's, it's just like it's just like a. It's gonna be good, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, you can help if you like, but he is definitely taking the charge in the uh, in the uh, in the uh, cooking. Mm -hmm. um, Manor's pretty pretty empty, so like basically everyone's here, including Duo and Brian. Um. Uh. Now, question: Do you let Duo and Brian know about? So, well, like first for like Gosrick, since they're in the firm, do they know that your it. Uh, rejection of the Lord stuff is a ploy? Um, I don't think Kin knows, but I think um, or Zafira, but I think Brian is aware because he's also and, in the. He's he's a part of the rivals. He's okay. like in. The manner, yeah. Is a duo or no. I think okay. the bit I think the bit is sold to duo as well. Okay. Um does anybody else let uh duo or Brian know? Considering that all of us looked very nervous until Gosring said no, Dua doesn't know, and then we we're all like, "Yes, okay, yeah. correct." No, uh, none, of us, none of us have shared. None of us have shared that particular. I, I was nervous as well because I gotta follow. Because like I gotta follow the characters. Like, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, well, the uh, Dua has had has had growth. We have discussed like last year. Yeah, but not that much. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Levels, Which is why I said Brian can know, Duo can know yeah, at this moment. Yeah, yeah. right. About to say if if Duo sees yeah. a way to market the manor, uh, <laughs> <laughs> might be a thing. But um, uh, okay, all right, cool. Yeah. So um, everybody's at this uh, breakfast. Um, Duo and Brian leave, you know, to go uh, handle some stuff in the manor. Um, Shaka, uh, you just notice he has this like massive grin on his face as he's eating, and he's kind of like just laughing to himself, kind of like silently, not not in a well, kind of creepy actually. Um, he's just like he he like takes a bite and like and, and like just goes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and he takes another bite, laughs, and just keeps on doing that. Okay. That's Is so the, Shaka. I almost. I know. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's Shaka with food, so this mm -hmm. behavior isn't exactly out of bounds. Right. <laughs> I yeah. do think Kent a little bit is just assumes that like, 
Oh, Shuck is having a good morning, potentially potentially an enhanced morning with something in his food or drink. Uh, and so I would love to try and like sleight of hand a bite of whatever uh, Shaka Ooh. just ate to like, ah, well, <laughs> right if anyone asks, it is to test for some sort of poisonous substance that is affecting, but really it's just because if and, Shaka's having fun, I would like to. Yep, and like I'll say because Shaka is so into whatever he's laughing about i'll give you you have, you have advantage on um, uh, okay i don't actually have uh my my proficiency in this one so it's only a 15 uh th and thank you for the advantage because it would have been a seven <laughs> just uh, lean over and stab his uh, breakfast um uh, yeah just really uh, hoping for something yeah. to happen you're you're able to grab it um somehow he just looks away and laughs and you just just like i go in um i mean it tastes pretty average stuff i mean it's good but it's the same thing y'all have been having for you know for the uh past couple weeks um disappointing i think yeah uh, so yeah i'd love to ask uh come over like guys are sort of moves by so it sounds like so you're working on new material uh you're testing something <laughs> oh, out i'm so glad you asked oh no i'm so oh, glad no. you asked <laughs> yeah. oh man <laughs> I just see you oh. chuckling to yourself. It, yeah. You might be yeah. noodling on something, huh? Yeah, I really <laughs> am. I really am. Um, okay, so um, I have used a portion of my money to buy a uh, property that's still in the North Ward. Um, and I think I'm going to use it. I don't know what quite to call it. But I want to go there and tell jokes to people and possibly charge people to see, not, not just me. I mean, mm. I've been going around and there's other folks that also uh, also do this, but they kind of just do it on the street or they do it, you know, with yeah. their families. But I think there's really something to like getting a bunch of us like together and maybe just like a funny saying uh, hey uh, uh, this hey yeah. like this person will be here this night um a clubhouse you know. for comedic endeavors ah oh, god, god, mm -hmm. god yeah i really don't know but uh a... i think it'll be great for the ward mm -hmm. and i think it, i i just we've been over we've been through so much in the past year and i feel like this will be a good thing i feel like i'm i'm contributing and it will just be a good thing for me to get my head off, uh, like my head out of um, all the stuff that we've been through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, you really did surprise us with the routine that you did a couple weeks ago. And I mean, this sounds, if you've taken a liking to it, I mean, it sounds great. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got to think of a name. Um, but I don't know, just joke building or something is what I was kind That's of thinking. That's a good start. I, I like really that as a good, starting a good spot. Start. Yeah. Um, yeah. And considering, you know, but, considering the trouble, laughter at the very least does lift spirits and bring people together. So that would be a wonderful uh, a wonderful thing, I think, for, uh, for the people of the ward. Yeah, but also some of the people that I met, they, some of the jokes they tell, they are. They, Really for kids, are or are not are not are not for are kids. not okay. <laughs> oh, so, so I don't want to make this just a kid. I well, we could we could do just a kids thing, but I feel like, I mean, mm -hmm. the town halls are where I can shine with right. my all all ages material. Got it. But I feel like we could really have a opportunity here to have maybe some kids stuff and maybe some 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 not so kids stuff. Like kid specific days and then like grown up specific days, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe something like that. Um, and and really, I just love to do this on my own. But mm -hmm. you know, I'm also we're we're all spoiled now. We have all this money, right? Like, I was just about to say, if you want uh, Nomrad Investments managed by Rivals of Waterdeep, Nimrods for short. No. I knew it. Is, <laughs> no. <laughs> if you are uh, the age of acronyms, um, if you need a, any assistance, please, please let me know. Unbelievable. Well, 
Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I'm pretty good financial wise. I I think the main thing is that the other people that I've met, they kind of they depend on like this is their livelihood, but they always say how hard it is to, you know, make a living, um, you know, kind of doing this. So for me, I'm just doing this because I love it and because, you know, like but they but they're like really trying to do it. So I'm trying to figure out some way that they can also um make a living off of this like maybe like one person like suggested like hey why don't you like charge people for like a certain number of like uh pints you know like a like a minimum number of pints Mm. you know um like we take what everybody wants to make we divide it by a couple things and we say all right this is how much each person needs to like contribute so So, so like maybe, maybe they get in free or there's a minor thing and then they pay for a couple of pints and, you know, once the pints get flowing, people start laughing, you know? Um, so yeah, yeah, there's, there's a, there's some ideas for the joke building. Um, but I kind of like it cause it's like, I'm building, like we're building jokes, mm-hmm. but also it's in a building where we're building the jokes. This is so, so many it's a joke that builds on itself because you're building yes. the jokes while you while you're building inside of the building. The building joke building. Mm-hmm. The building joke building. You know, you know, Donnie. Joke construction. We're gonna figure you this think out. You can paint, shop, shop. G G G G. Do you think you could paint a logo for that? Uh, building e- joke building. Sure. I could come up with a couple of concepts for you if you'd like. Yeah, uh, building joke building, BJV. Okay, I th- I think we're on to something. I think we're on to something. Um, yeah. So like this is still in the in the initial stages, um, but yeah, I'm just I don't know. I guess I'm just excited to have something to do now. Obviously, this is something I would own. I'm not trying to be there all the time because you know, if something comes up, like we might have to go go like handle it. Um, but uh, yeah, I just feel like, you know, I don't know. I feel really excited about it. Now, obviously, if any of you, if anyone here gets the bug as well, you know, you can, you know, I'm thinking of having maybe nights where people that aren't, you know, as as experienced or maybe are like, you know, not as good. They could have their own night to try out things, maybe. Like an um, amateur night. He has one successful set with an audience and suddenly... Well, oh, it was a when, great set. It was a great <laughs> set. When when the bug bites you, sometimes you just gotta take it and run with it, and mm-hmm. and, and yeah, then like, like honey, honey will actually like lean over to Kent and whisper like so as to not be heard by Shaka, and he hasn't had an idea like this in a long time. Yeah, I'm 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 I'm. I'm I mean, I can't like it's like the first time I'm sure that you ever went on a archaeological dig. Like you weren't like, oh, this is just my first dig. I shouldn't be excited about it. Like, you know, we, you know, so like when you know, you know, you know. Yeah. You know, I that first time I fell down an open dig site and broke my <laughs> ankle, I knew it was the job for me. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So the building joke building. I, I I think this can work. I mean, there's yeah. there's other. I mean, I think oh, that name just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? <laughs> um, it really does. Um, it really doesn't. It's not <laughs> the building <laughs> it's joke just, building. Yeah, um, uh, it just works. So is many. sort of no, a whole mouthful. I mean, mm-hmm. so you you have, I assume, new jokes to tell, and you you are now working with other people who have new jokes to tell, but. Do you have enough, you know, I, I guess, do you have enough to fill the time? I mean, what? Well, uh, first of all, I appreciate the, uh, the uh, you know, the uh, you not believing in me with that question. Uh, but you know what? I will prove you wrong. Um, <laughs> no, do I have enough, uh, like, material to go through the whole thing? No, but I'm more like a host, you know? I'm, I'm putting up the money and the building. Uh, so my idea is I come in, I introduce people and then I say, 
bringing up, uh, you know, this person, and and then they come up, and then they have a, and they have a, I don't know what you call it, a, a, a building, right? They they have a building, um, and then like, and and then they leave, and then I come back, and then like I might say, hey, like wasn't that like uh, great? And then and then I might tell like you know one or two like building joke buildings and then the next person will come up right so i don't need a lot of material right i'm like keeping you're the keeping, facilitator yeah yeah ex- exactly i'm like keeping the, the cohesion going yes you know? i can i can see how my concerns were entirely and completely unfounded and uh and- now if you're saying that you think i should have my own like you know two hour special at the building joke well, building that's something that i don't think i'm there yet and at but, that point salish just walks in the kitchen and goes no no you're not and just keeps going oh <laughs> virgil suddenly takes a strong interest in his <laughs> food <laughs> well uh yeah i don't i don't think i am either um but um i'm gonna head down there tonight um you know like like just bought the building so it's kind of like you know it's not set up or anything i heard it's in pretty bad shape um but i'm gonna head down there tonight and um you know just to check it out and just see what's going on um and uh yeah just uh i'm just really excited y'all um and of course if you need to reach me i'll I'll either be here i'll either be here or there either one of those places right i'm not um planning on really uh going Anywhere else, um, I tried to find these other, uh, you know, um, Zanlocks. Uh, yeah. I just did, didn't yeah. have a lot of success with that, unfortunately. <clears throat> um, but they know where I am, right? So, um, so I'm hoping that, you know, that uh, some of them will kind of come to me. But I don't know. I feel like we just can't be all about stress all the time, right? Like, 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 like we, we, we have to balance it out. So, um Kent in his like luxurious robe with a giant mug of coffee and a plate full of delicious food says, yeah, it just can't be hard all the time, you know? (laughs) (laughs) So you're you're wearing the, uh, is this any luxury or is this like- Oh, this is a new new attempt uh, with the glamored armor. Um, It is floor length and ruby red and like sat. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. Incredible. And it has pockets because everything that I make with the glamour thing has pockets. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And then um, Sh- Shaka, he uh, gets up and says, um, okay, uh, well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to check it out uh, and I'll let you guys know how it is. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm going to be working really hard on this. So if you don't see me for a while, um, don't, don't, don't be alarmed. Okay. Don't be concerned. I'll come uh-huh. by. Like, 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 if you don't see me for say, I don't know, one of the seasons, maybe. You know, um, it's, wow, like you're this, really putting like, a lot of work into this. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. I mean, do you need any any help, or do you want us to check in? Where is the, the building? Or, you know, like uh, the building. You know, funny enough, I haven't really into it yet but it was a great deal it was a great deal so i'll kind of i'll look up the address on the way there and uh you know i i know it's in the ward and that's the most important part because we want okay. okay so uh did i exactly plot out where it is and try to no right <laughs> no. but 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 that's fine you know that's what fine. i like this energy of you just saying yes and whatever comes next oh. i really enjoy oh my god this, this is <laughs> all right this is all right your, that's it <laughs> okay now your, get the hook that's it great. <laughs> <laughs> oh shaka do you have a hook uh oh yes uh, wh- uh what I- i'll bring you one later it's okay <laughs> oh oh like like <laughs> do, do you wait do, do, do you mean like the big drawbreaker thing that mert had us oh, I forgot about that. no that felt hook? that one was kind of sharp right maybe not that oh, one. oh it was very sharp <laughs> yeah no maybe not that one <laughs> yeah Candy's very high good. stakes Candy's comedy not club. a good like you know yeah <laughs> yeah a hook uh i don't know but uh wait do you know about joke building 
No, it just felt like that would be something. You, I mean, you did say that you were going to have opportunities for less experienced yes. joke builders, and and it, you know, if things are not going great, you know, you don't want to sort of bring down the whole energy of the evening, and sort of a fun way, probably not to the failing joke builder, but to everyone else to just move things along. Just a big hook. Oh, or maybe to, like no, we're not you know, or wait to take perhaps, them perhaps off like the a, stage. Yeah. Well, that or perhaps you would have somebody. You know, perhaps you could hire a bard perhaps to um, to dress up and usher them off. That way it's not as insulting. It's it's more personal. They are hey. they are slowly escorted when perhaps they are not doing well. Shaka or or trap door into a pit underneath. <laughs> and the moment they fail, drop them in. Okay, well I feel less bad about my idea now. <laughs> I didn't oh wow, these are all different ways of uh You'll do your own thing. You know what? Yeah, what you know what? You don't want to take this from I'm, I'm, I'm your feelings. feelings. <laughs> Go with your gut. Um, yeah. We are, we are, we are behind you. We are behind you all the way. We are very. I'm, 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 I mean, they all sound pretty mean. Um, <laughs> and I don't know yeah. if any comics. Well, sorry, comics. Let's strike that from the record. Joke builders. That word joke builders. Does, does not exist. Joke yet. builders. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't. I don't know if any joke builders will come if they're gonna get. You know, tossed into a pit. Or... Well, no, you'll call it the Rancorous Laughter Pit. Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no. Uh, oh, fire this week, no. on fire. <laughs> now, <laughs> now we're crossing too many brands. Uh, uh, um, okay. Uh, I'll, I mean, I'll think about it, I guess. I guess I thought people would come. Or don't. And, That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and everyone would be happy to, you know, hear from people from the community, and there wouldn't be any need to bring people off the stage. But I don't know. I mean, um, honestly, you've never heard any of us tell a joke, so obviously our expertise in this matter is I have not is not the best to build from. Let's say, but you haven't heard me until a couple of weeks ago either. It's true. Well, true, like not on was, so grand a stage. Not but on it was so an extremely stage. extremely tight set. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And it was yeah. 40 minutes. It was yeah. like, it was <laughs> like, yeah. It's just, we were dealing with a lot in the kitchen and y'all yeah. kept on going. Like, okay. I, I, yeah. I, I will also say Shaka has repeated this set to y'all because y'all were in the back oh, while no. he was doing it. Oh. So this past five weeks, he has been making sure that all of you have heard every single uh, joke that he stated during this set. So you. Incredible. You know what? It's, it's still how, good, how too. Five weeks yeah. later, it's still good. It's a good I was gonna say, how were his performance classic. roles on those? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I can, I can. I can <laughs> that. I I, I, here's the thing: I trust that Shaka is gets funnier over time, and that first set was great. You know, what? I, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm gonna roll to see, I guess, <clears throat> how confident he is while he's delivering it because oh, okay. that would that okay. would do it. That would really affect our yeah. Like, that would affect our buy-in of this breakfast announcement. Yeah, I like yeah. it. I like it. Okay. Um, he was uh, he was okay. He was he was moderately confident, not not super confident, but he was. He, I mean, you, you 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 can tell he believes in it, but maybe needs a little more of a push. To it, really. it might be the the prospect of of performing it on a larger stage mm. that is exactly the, the, exactly the apprehension. Exactly, he needs like the. He needs the pressure of all these people. Like he can't do it like a one on one like thing. Uh, with, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Folks. Well, I mean, I mean, as soon as you uh, once you find out where the building is, just let me know because I need to I need to see where what the sign, you know, it, any potential sign dimension so that it's, you know, so that the art is good. So, when you find out, let me know. Oh, I just meant like just a idea, like a concept, you know, just a little Thing. But if if you're already committing to it and want the dimension and everything, that's great. You know, just just let me know. I don't know what your rate is for, uh, you know, for pieces, but you know, but I'll definitely Aww. like reward you for that for sure. Thanks, Shaka. Okay. Yeah. And okay, so Shaka, uh, he gets up. Um, he uh, grabs, you know, like his normal stuff, and he uh, exits uh, the kitchen. Um, and exits, uh, or begins to exit the manor, I should say, unless anyone wants to do any last things or say any last things. Or... Just, uh, Shaka, make sure you're checking in. It's 
it's not great when one of us isn't around. I, I think we just want to make sure that you're okay. Not just in this business venture, but you are okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like I could really use the, like, I will let, I will, okay, I can't promise I'm going to check in. Okay, I'm just going to be honest. But I, but, but I can promise that if anything goes left, I know where to go. I know who to call. Um, and that you will get the notice if anything goes wrong. Just to say, if a doppelganger comes back looking like you, we're giving away your room. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and, and like once you say a doppelganger, he kind of, um, uh, you know, drops his head a bit. Um, guys, like, would you say in five, at the time this is happening, like five weeks that you would have had that moonbeam thing installed by now? I think definitely within, like, based on what we had, it would, a rudimentary version would work. It would okay. first be like one light where it's just like, okay, everybody once a week, just walk underneath here, we pull the lamp, and we move on. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, 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 so so like we get like t tested every week, like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, a, scan like a scanner. <laughs> you guys know that? Uh, is it, is it Brad, uh, Ray Bradbury story about the people on Mars or like some planet where they only get sunlight like one day a year? Oh, yeah, so, like all summer in a day, yeah, all summer in a day. Thank you, thank you. So it's like at the beginning when they get the UV light, it's kind of like that, <laughs> okay, sweet. okay. Um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know object's contraption can help with that um because i just i just don't trust that i can see it anymore like i just i just don't i just don't know and to be honest that's part of why i feel like i need this time as well like i need to really reflect on uh on everything like i i, I always pride myself in seeing the truth and i just let this one slip and i feel like i need to like kind of get myself together so so the not checking in thing is not like a mean thing it's just i don't know i just need to it needs to be on my terms i guess is what i'm saying okay uh, I, I, I know that might not be the answer that y'all wanted to hear but um you know it's kind of where i am right now we've all been through our own versions of a lot in the past few years and you know, we worked, we just worked real hard to help Gosric and his home and then came back here and, you know, fixed stuff in the ward. We all deserve time to spend however we choose. And I know, you know, Virgil and I are, are the most recent additions to sort of gestures at the manor to this little fam. But you do what you got to do, Shaka, and just remember... You don't ever have to do it alone. We're always here. But if you need to, we feel that too. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Enjoy well, your sabbatical. Take yeah, take yeah. some time for you. <laughs> like really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a bit of a sabbatical, but obviously if you need me, I'll be around. But mm -hmm. um, you know, I'll probably to be honest, might be uh well, if if this place is nice, I might be, you know spending some nights there or maybe at a place near there. Um, yeah, I, I, I just need some, you know, just, just some time to the really more, make this work. The more you say things about how you're not going to be here, the more worried that I personally get. So I don't want this to sound very mean, but you should go. Like, I mean that very positively, like, do the thing, Aww. please do the thing, because the more that you say things about how you're going to do the thing, I'm like, but what if he doesn't do the thing? And what if he never comes back? I'm going to go okay. over and just sort of sit next to Dahani and like, just sort of nudge her with my shoulder. And like you get a wing around you. No, as, yeah. Like, you get a wing hug. No. No, sweet. Um... Okay. Uh, thanks a lot. And uh, you're, 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 you're right. I'm extending this a little bit uh, longer than I thought. I just, I guess I didn't realize how hard it would be to actually do this, even though I really believe in this, you know, we've uh, been together for a while. So um, uh, yeah. So uh, I'll let you know where this place is. Um, uh, and uh, 
Yeah. We'll I'll be in touch. Later. Yeah, yeah. I'll have my people call your people. We'll do lunch. Yeah, yeah. If I promise if I do need an investment, I will you'll be the first one that I call. Mm-hmm. Um and uh bye y'all. Shaka turns around and he leaves. Uh leaves the manor. Um so, um, is there anything that anyone wants to do immediately after that? If uh, not, we, we can jump. Azuk shouts, good riddance. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I think uh, Dahani's going to follow him. Okay. Follow <laughs> him stealthily or follow him? Oh, like, no. St- like, stealthily. Like okay. Stealthily. Oh, Delthy Dahani to me. Oh, just goodness. Very funny. Right? Good luck, um, me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, are you flying or are you like trying to like literally like creep around uh, trees and hide behind um, garbage cans and that kind of stuff? It's going to be a little bit of both, actually. Like, she's not going to start flying immediately, but she wants to, at the very least, she wants to make sure that Shaka is going to a derelict. Like, this is the worst thing ever but she wants to make sure that shaka is going to a derelict building <laughs> because oh, okay. that's what he said verifying he the story just confirming okay. okay cool yeah yeah so um okay well let's uh do do oh, a stealth roll then oh, uh, only one i'd be only do one uh okay. and uh i rolled a 21 Ooh, look at that yeah hold on um what's up I just said, well done. Well done. Uh, oh, well yeah, done. Yeah, okay. I thought you said, hold up. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, me yeah. too. <laughs> hey, Zach, I was, I was like, oh, Godric's on the hunt too. <laughs> um, good riddance that he runs after. <laughs> <laughs> good riddance. Oh, I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so like, uh, g- give me some examples of super stealthy, like Dahani, because we. This, <laughs> Because this is a thing. I, this is not um, something I expected. She's going to, so she's going to wait until you are a, a certain distance away, and then she's going to start following you. Um, she's going to keep to to darker areas because her feathers are dark, obviously. Um, at one point, she does actually hide in a group of kids that she knows. Uh, <laughs> um. And then, like, in, in the crowded areas, she is going to, like, fly onto, like, rooftops and, like, jump from rooftop to rooftop to follow you and, like, keep herself pressed to the tops of rooftops. But it's going to be, it would be funny to watch in real life, but she's surprisingly good at it for once. Okay. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you see, <clears throat> Shaka, um, he's a... Uh... He's kind of walking. Um, you see that grin uh, kind of disappear a bit. Because mm-hmm. um, like, you can tell because he's kind of looking like left and right and stuff. Um, the more he's walking, the more he looks like he is looking around. Um, you know, almost like like he's trying to just get a map of the area, trying to like perceive exactly where he like um, is. Um, and he's walking sort of like I'd say northeast or so, Um, you know, and you basically see him walking um, on in uh, on a street called the Troll March, um, which is sort of like on the northern um, edge, um, you know, of of uh, Waterdeep. Um, And he basically stops near this place that looks um, I mean, derelict, I would say, is a nice way to put it. Um, this place looks like it is about to fall. Like, like, uh, like, like, like a, it is like, it has signs on it that indicate that um, it is probably scheduled for uh, some sort of removal. Um, it has no windows. Windows kind of like, if there are windows, they're like busted out. Um, there's a big gate around it. Um, there's all kind of, uh, I mean, they don't have police tape in Waterdeep, but kind of like certain kinds of mar- bright colored markings that, uh, you know, that make it look like there's somewhere that you shouldn't be around. 
um and you basically uh uh see him uh uh as he walks toward this uh building um someone else kind of walks sort of uh from the other side of of of, of the building and walks toward him um uh, you can't quite tell much about this person um they look uh they're like kind of like shrouded in like a hood um doesn't really look uh can't really tell a a, a race or a background or like uh any anything really um and 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 and, and they uh see each other and they give each other like a big hug basically um and they just start talking uh kind of too low for you to if if you're trying to be stealthy still kind of too low for you to really hear what they're talking about um but they are talking in sort of a um a very pointed manner like they're not arguing but they're clearly like going back and forth about something Now, is there anything that you'd like to attempt to do or just see like kind of like what plays out? No, I'm going to watch for a little bit, but if all it looks like they're doing is talking, then I'm going to sneak my way back home. Keep like keep a reminder of this place and keep and make my way back home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It it definitely looks like that they're uh, talking, um, but it just, it just seems like weird. Also, um, one thing that you do notice, why well, I, I actually want roll a uh, perception for me. Ooh. Well, I actually, actually, either perception or investigation, either one of those. Uh, I'm gonna do perception. There we go. That's exactly there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, that's a 10. Okay, 10. Great. Um, you, you do notice. A little bit out of the sort of shrouded hood, you see um, just a shimmer of blue. Um, but it's blue, but it also seems like it's sort of like reflecting light. So it's like blue, but like also when the light hits it, like the light kind of bounces off. It's almost like you're mm -hmm. looking at some sort of like jewel or something, right? Or or like some kind of like, uh, you know, uh, mirror, say. Okay. Uh, Dahani is just going to make the assumption that this is somebody who Shaka knows that is a joke builder. Um, so like, like she's, she's satisfied at the very least that she knows where he's gone and, uh, she's gonna, she's gonna head back home. Okay. Great. Awesome. Yeah. So, um, so, so as you head back, um, you, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll say right, right before you get like out of the distance that like you can hear, you hear like a pretty loud, like, sh like a noise that kind of sounds like a bunch of, um, like a bunch of jewels on the ground, like the sound of like somebody dropping, like say a bunch of diamonds or like a bunch of like uh, rubies or a bunch of like jewels on the ground um, in the direction that you know that you, that, that that like you just left uh, from Shaka. Uh, that's a very awkward way to exchange money. Can I turn around and <laughs> see what that what that was? Yep, sure. Uh, as you turn around, uh, you see Shaka. Um, <laughs> that's really funny. The chat. <laughs> that's really funny. Oh, I'm, I have to rewrite now. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so um, you see Shaka uh, wrapped around him is a what looks like a blue a lizard of some sort that is very, very shiny and looks like it is made of uh, very shiny objects. Um, and it is like completely wrapped around him, um, like almost from head to toe. It's like wrapped around him. This 
is so far and away from joke building. Does it, does it look like, actually, I don't think, no, I don't remember if I had Tahani there for what happened at the end of the season. Um, does it look well, like the, well, you, you can, assu- if you want to use something from there, you can assume that someone would have okay. told you. Does it look you like the funky doppelganger chrys- chrysalid things that, w- that were seen at the end of last season? No. Okay. No, it's not. I think then what I'm going to do is, golly, because even with, even if I go back, it's going to take a while for everybody to get here because everybody's not as fast as I am. I'm going to keep watching. Okay. And you will keep watching until next week because that's how we're ending the episode. Uh, 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 So you're going to be watching for a water deep week. Um, oh boy! Wow. What is oh, it? I don't. Is it seven or ten? Oh, never ten mind. days. Ten full <laughs> days. You'll be watching. Um, okay, so um, I actually like uh, what you did last season, like Latia, which is we will do our intros while people are putting questions. Uh, sorry, our outros uh, while people are putting questions in the chat. So if you have any questions for our characters only, uh, put those in the chat. Put question first, and then your question. And uh, we'll try to answer what we can uh, at the uh, after we finish with our outros. Um, so uh, everybody, just say who you are, what you got going on, and um, all that good stuff. Uh, let's start uh, with Latia. Oh hi, uh, it me. Uh, you can. I'm Latia Jaquis. Uh, I do the things and the stuff. You can find me everywhere on the internet at Latia Jaquis. And at my brand new website, LatiaJaquise.com. Yeah. Uh, I have nothing going on at all. Uh, some there's, there's stuff in the works, but nothing that I could talk about yet. So uh, if you want to find out what's, what's going on, check out my website or my Twitter. That's all. Yeah. And uh, if, if you want to have heartwarming stuff, like Latia has some great tweets about how during her book signings, these awesome girls that she inspired. They're so cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, All right, uh, let's go to Tanya. That threw me off because I thought you were going in order. Um, (laughs) I'm Tanya, Cypher of Tear. Not a lot going on. Uh, There's actually no Black Dice this week or next week. Um, But Friday, I am doing a Pride stream with Logitech G on their channel. I'm planning to play Arcade Spirits as a very queer, fun game for Pride Month. And that's it, other than my streams. It's actually a light week. Sweet. Awesome. Uh, Eugenio. Hi, everybody. I'm Eugenio. Uh, you can find me on the internet at DM Jazzy Hands. Uh, what is that the thing? What else do we have coming up this week? Uh, I uh, stream on my channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you can come hang out. We are. Still bouncing around. We just finished two uh, big Bioware franchises and I am uh, purporting to attempt to stream more variety. It's sort of going okay. Uh, But that said, uh, we're sort of looking at Witcher 3 on Tuesdays and Elden Ring on Thursdays as a general idea for what's going on. Uh, Huge games. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. no, I I tried to do little and I was like, and I'm bored. We're also playing like a half hour of the Super Nintendo Earthbound at the top of every stream. Oh, wow. So if you want stuff a little wow. smaller, yeah. yeah. Um, nice. I, I like can only that. do about half an hour above it at a time though, because there's so much just like repetitive turn-based oh, yeah. combat. It's in old that school game. RP- yeah, yeah, it's very yeah. Old school. Are you <laughs> emulating it? You crank it up to like a hundred. No, yeah, no, if you're a if you're Nintendo online, you can play it on your Switch. Oh, okay, fancy. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, that's Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can come hang out. Uh Wednesdays, I have a DD podcast. We release new episodes every Wednesday. It's called The Last Refuge. Uh, And we are on season nine of probably 10 seasons. And then that campaign will be done. So good time to have lots of backlog to binge and catch up on. Uh, And I think that's what this week is for me. Love it. All right, Brian. Uh, Hi, I am Brian. Uh, I am urban bohemian pretty much everywhere on the internet. And I will be streaming on my own channel, uh, twitch.tv slash urban bohemian on Tuesday. We're going to be playing Arcade Spirits. Uh, next Saturday, there honestly may be more Arcade Spirits because it's a lot and it's a lot of reading and it's a lot of fun. 
Uh, also next Saturday, I will be doing a one shot of Monster of the Week, which we have not officially announced. So please keep an eye on my Twitter. And uh, then next Sunday, Animal Crossing and back here with these lovely people. And um, there are other things happening in, in June, because of course there are. Um, and there are probably things that I'm forgetting. So please keep an eye on my socials. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Masood. Hey, everyone. I'm Masood. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Marudeboy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, stuff that I've got going on, these wonderful rivals here on Sundays, uh, playing with these delightful folks. On Wednesdays, I'm GMing a, a Blades in the Dark campaign on I Need Diverse Games. You can come check us out playing with the Super Friday Night folks. We're having a blast. This The game, the campaign's called Stool Pigeons. And it's <laughs> just, just, just get, check it out. You, you got to check it out. It's a blast. Uh, but other than that, if you're in Chicago or in the surrounding area and want to commute, more power to you. Come see my live show. I'm doing um, a, a show at the Annoyance Theater in Chicago, Illinois, near the Clark and Belmont called uh, Spliff Laugh Love. And we got two more weeks of that that's running uh, this Thursday and next Thursday. So if you're in the area and you want to check it out, come on down. Um, but yeah, just keep an eye on my Twitter and Instagram, Maruboy, for any updates and upcoming stuff that might be going on. Um, once the show ends, I'll probably have time to stream a little bit more so i'll be back on the rivals channel but we'll keep you updated as that happens awesome yeah uh and uh i'm sharif uh find me at sharifjackson.com s-h-a-r-e-e-f jackson.com uh and sharif jackson on all social networks um right now this is my only game going on but if you want to check out some archives um just finished bonds beyond time the second season of our mage the ascension campaign which you can check out at uh, the Kira 858's Twitch or YouTube channel. Um, or you could check out my Kids on Bike series, uh, Tr Trouble in Techburg on Pix Pixel Circuses, Twitch or uh, YouTube series as well. Um, and yeah, I don't have any other uh, games going on. Um, I finally finished grading for my my uh, gaming class I teach. Uh, so, so that's great that I'm done with that and i'm finally finishing up a bit uh with most of my uh students for those that you know i'm a i'm a tutor full-time tutor so um it's a busy time of the year for me but yeah. uh most of that stuff is finishing up um for, for me so uh i'm excited about it um before we uh actually go into the questions i do want to talk a little bit about oh actually i see someone else wants to talk about it uh, about our uh patreon stuff that we will be doing a little different this year so uh brian uh yeah yeah um if you are supporting us on patreon first off we appreciate that very much and we are going to be uh we're going to be turning an eye towards providing more content over on patreon <clears throat> including uh something that we're going to start doing today which is an after show so patrons will have access to that and um i believe there was um there was absolutely a recent post so if you're a supporter you already got that and you know what's up but if you're not a supporter you're finding out about it now and now is a great time to become a supporter that yes. would be fantastic um so yeah uh look for that as soon as we basically get it all done and dusted and thrown up on patreon soon cool awesome awesome yeah um all right uh and i might um i think i'm gonna try to do some dm uh oh. some quick dm note uh yeah. patreon audio yeah. things because they're pretty easy to get up there and Amazing. i think that it'll, it'll be a cool benefit uh for uh for the patrons out there so oh. if uh, you want to hear some uh notes about you know uh you know they, they won't be like spoilery talking about things that haven't happened yet but they'll be like explaining things that did happen d during the show maybe maybe there's something i had to ad lib or maybe there's something that i updated based on how the how the um players like reacted to it all, all that good stuff so all right uh let's check out some questions so our first question is for well that one we kind of already answered uh there was a question about what our personal mask looks like mm. um and because the idea is that everyone is anonymous uh everyone's mask uh is is the same um, unless actually... someone, of course, tried to, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, add something to it, which you could. I mean, you could feel yeah. feel free to. I just but like the... the idea that that we've all been going to the meetings and none of us, none of like some of us have been going, some of us have been skipping out, and none of us knows which one of us has been doing any of that. 
Because the, yeah, the anonymity the, is magic too, right? Like it masks yes. our voices. It makes yeah. us all look the same yes. height. Like it's mm-hmm. all of this very cool stuff. So, exactly. and then so, they make us all play musical chairs when we get there. So <laughs> even if we arrive at the same time, <laughs> you have to. You yeah. can't sit in the same Switch seat around. two weeks that's right. in a row. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. And, and like, before you do the musical chairs, you got to spin around in a circle oh, like, f- like oh five gosh. times. Yeah. And oh, God. Then you play musical chairs. Uh, question for Gazrik What is your favorite uh, investment project to date? Uh, I think Gazrik, uh, so my favorite investment project so far um, has to be, it's hard to choose. I really like having getting uh, Ken up and running and having his mm. shop be self-sustaining has been really incredible to see yeah. uh, while I was working by myself and with the rivals as uh, I don't want to call it amateur hour, but frankly, it was amateur hour. We didn't know what we were doing. We, we did, I didn't know the first thing about investing, but uh, I, I really am proud of the way in which his business has grown and seeing the way uh, he's come on board. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can answer some quickly. I guess question for Brian and Duo: How are you feeling about changes in the rivals, like the inf- investment firm? Br- Brian's answer is: I like calculations. Good. Guys are not really good at calculations, so <laughs> I get to, uh, add that too. Uh, like doing it by long long hand. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you're just doing like long division on everything, like, <laughs> like ten digit long division. Um, uh, I'll say Duo doesn't answer that question because he doesn't hear. Ah. It. And we're and we're running out of time. Uh, let's see, one more question at the end for Kent. Hmm. What has been the most interesting thing you have found in the Under Mountain during your research? Oh, I wish I could answer this, but we haven't actually gone down yet. We're hoping yeah. to, like, we've mostly been doing, uh, like, theoretical research about things that others have found, understanding that there's much more to delve. But that's another reason that we wanted to go to Vajra and Laryl first, mm-hmm. um, because as powerful and capable as we are uh, is Thunder Mountain, and uh, we don't want to yes. stir up more trouble than we can handle. Right. Yeah. And someone did ask about the baby dragon you will find more out about that later. Oh, that so, makes me more nervous than yeah. anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I know. Like like that. That. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't forget about the baby dragon. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> de- definitely in the plot. Definitely in the plot. I uh, love it. All right. Well, uh, th- thank you all for joining us on this season premiere. P- premiere. Uh, we will be here every Sunday at the same time. Um, remember, if you are a, uh, a, a a patron, you get access first to the podcast and like all that stuff, plus all the stuff that we talked about earlier. So support us there. Um, have a great rest of your Sunday. And later, y'all. Bye. 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 And we're going to go raid Imperial. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't yeah. go anywhere. We're going to go raid Imperial. Hang around. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bye and stay. Yeah. Bye, yeah, but yeah. yeah. Don't go.